Over the next 20 minutes, I'd like to give you a brief tour of some of the exciting new features in iLife 08. I'm gonna show it to you on the new iMac I've got here, or it'll run on the Mac you already have. We're running it on Tiger, and it'll also work great with Leopard. Let's take a look. As our collections of photos grow over the years, it becomes more difficult to manage and find the pictures we're looking for. Here's a library of 5,000 photos. I can quickly scroll through them, but finding a single photo is hard. If you're like most people, the photos you take tend to group around events, like birthdays, weddings, vacations, and get-togethers with our friends. So we manually organize the photos we like into albums. After a while, we've spent a ton of time, and we've made a whole list of albums. Why can't our computer take care of this for us? Well, now it does. The biggest new feature in iPhoto is called Events, and it lets us see our photo libraries in a whole new way. Now iPhoto automatically organizes your photos into events and uses a single picture to represent all the photos for each one. Depending on how much you shoot, an event will typically have about 50 photos. So in my library, 5,000 photos is now shown as about 100 events. That's a 50 to 1 simplification. This is 5,000 photos using events. Pretty cool. It's a much better way to see my whole library. And when I mouse over an event, it lets me skim through and see all the photos inside so I can quickly find a photo I'm looking for. It's easy to change the photo that represents an event. If I find a photo I like, I press the space bar and it becomes the new poster for that event. At any time, I can see all the photos in an event by double-clicking on it. And by double-clicking on individual photos, they instantly enlarge to give me a quick look at them. iPhoto starts you off by organizing a day's worth of photos into an event, but you can make changes at any time. Sometimes you have more than one event in a single day, so iPhoto makes it easy to split them. Here's a single day of photos. In the morning, we've got pictures from a birthday party. But later that evening, there was a friend's wedding. To split them into two different events, I select the first photo from the wedding and click Split. This creates a new event that I can name. Now they're two separate events, and I can skim through them and choose another poster for the wedding. I can also merge two or more events together. Here are some photos from a weekend trip. We've got an event for the first day of camping and the second day when everybody went rock climbing. To merge these two days into one event, I simply drag one on top of the other. And I can rename it if I like. There are basically three types of photos. First, there are the ones we love and that we want to see all the time. Then they're the ones we delete. They have obvious problems, like being out of focus. But there's a third kind that's right in between. They're not our favorites, but we don't want to throw them out. And the more of these photos you keep, the more they clutter up your library. iPhoto 08 makes it easy to hide them. Here's a series of photos. This one is great. This one's not worth keeping around, so I'll click Delete to get rid of it. And these are okay, but I don't want to see them all the time. So I just select them and click Hide. They're still in my library, and if I want to see them again, I click here. Searching for photos in iPhoto 08 is easy. I want to find pictures of Connor in my library, so I just start typing his name. And iPhoto immediately shows me all the pictures where his name is used in the photo or event title, keywords, or comments. And the search results are conveniently grouped by event. And I can take a quick look at any of these pictures to see them larger. I can use the same tool to specifically find photos by date, keywords, or rating. Ratings are a great way to identify your favorite shots. As I click on the rating stars, I can choose to see my photos that are rated three stars or better or get more selective and see just my absolute favorites.
iPhoto 08 gives you all the tools you need to improve your photos and make them look their best. Clicking the Edit button shows me all my options. Many photos can be improved with a single click of the Enhance button, which automatically balances the levels and contrast. I can straighten and fix any photos that have a crooked horizon line. Clicking on Adjust gives me easy to use but professional quality controls, such as levels, exposure, color balance, and sharpness. I can use the Shadows slider to improve this dark photo. It only affects the shadows and leaves the brighter parts of my photo unchanged. By holding the Shift key, I can quickly see my original photo so I can do a before and after comparison. Sometimes you have photos where the color doesn't look right. This photo is really blue. I can fix this with the white balance eyedropper by clicking on a neutral area of my photo, like the front of this roller coaster. And we'll use the shadow slider to help bring out the details on this dark shirt. Once I get the right settings, I can copy and paste them to other photos that have similar problems. iPhoto lets me print my photos at home using great new themes with colorful borders, textures, and mats. I can select these photos and click Print, and then Customize. I can choose a theme, change the border and background color, and the number of photos. I can resize and position any photo without affecting the original in my library. iPhoto 08 outputs beautiful prints that are ready for framing. Using the same layout tools, it's just as easy to create and order an impressive keepsake photo book, delivered right to your door. The new iPhoto hardcover books are protected by a beautiful dust jacket that's customized with your photos and text on the front and back. You can even place photos on the inside flap and add author's notes or fun comments. Under the dust jacket, the title of your book is presented using elegant foil stamping. And inside, your photos are professionally printed using your choice of over a dozen Apple design themes. You can also create and order a new larger size 10 by 13 inch calendar. So that's the new iPhoto 08, our biggest upgrade since the original iPhoto that was introduced over five years ago. And now with events, it's easy to get control of your growing photo collection and experience your library in a whole new way. If you're a Dot .Mac subscriber, you can take iPhoto even further and easily share your pictures online, right within iPhoto. The new Dot .Mac web gallery showcases your photos and movies in an elegant web page that offers a great viewing experience for your friends and family, whether they're on a Mac, PC, or an iPhone. To create a web gallery, I start in iPhoto and just click an event I want to share. Here's a baseball game I attended. Then I simply click Web Gallery. If I were to click Publish, I'd be done, and my photos would get uploaded automatically. When setting up your web gallery, you also have a few options. You can decide who can see your albums and what they can do. I can make any album private and limit the access only to specific people. I can allow visitors to download print quality versions of my photos to their computer. And I can allow friends to contribute their photos to my web gallery, from their web browser or by sending an email. When I click Publish, my photos start uploading to .Mac and my web gallery is built. Then iPhoto gives me a URL that I can click to visit, or I can send an email to announce my web gallery to friends and family.